What's up everybody, Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We have to find the coordinates of the point on f of x equals x cubed plus 3x where the tangent is perpendicular to the line x plus 3y minus 12 equals 0. So we have to, one more time, find the coordinates of the point on that function where that tangent on that function is going to be perpendicular to this line. So this line here, let's change into y equals mx plus b format. So if we bring the x over, bring the negative 12 over, we'll have 3y equals negative x plus 12. And then we can divide everything by 3 to isolate for that y. So we got y equals negative 1 over 3x plus 4. So this line here has a slope of negative 1 over 3. But we're trying to find the point where the tangent is perpendicular to this line. So if the tangent is perpendicular to that line, what's the perpendicular slope gonna be? Well, it's gonna be the negative reciprocal of that. So we flip this and change the sign. So one over three is like three over one, change the negative to a positive. So we know that the tangent slope is gonna equal three. So we need to find the point where the tangent slope on that function is going to equal 3. So what we can do is we can find a general expression for the tangent slope at any x value. So when x is equal to a. And we know that that's equal to just the difference quotient limit as h goes to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. So we need to plug in a plus h into the x values. So we'll have uh, a plus h cubed plus 3 times a plus h. And then we're going to be subtracting f of a. So that would be a cubed plus 3a. And it's going to be all over h. So a plus h cubed, that would be, uh, if you FOIL that up three times, or you could use Pascal's triangle, that would be a cubed plus 3a squared h plus 3ah squared plus h cubed. Distribute that 3 inside the bracket, we got 3a plus 3h. Then distribute the negative inside that bracket, we got minus a cubed minus 3a. This is going to be all over h. Notice a bunch of things will cancel out. a cubes cancel out, and then the uh, 3a's cancel out as well. So we're left with 3a squared h plus 3a h squared plus h cubed plus 3h in the numerator. Notice that we can factor out an h from all of those terms. So we'll be left with 3a squared plus 3a h plus h squared plus 3. This is going to be all over h. h is cancel out, and then we can plug in 0 for h. So we're just left with 3a squared plus 3. So this here is the general expression for the slope of the tangent of that function at any x value a. But we need to find the x value where the slope of the tangent is going to equal 3. So our next step up here is we just take this expression, make it equal to 3, solve for the a value. So we got 3a squared plus 3 equals, when is it going to equal 3? Well, if we bring this 3 over, we'll have 3a squared equals 0. Divide everything by 3, that means that a has to equal 0. So at an x value of 0, the slope of the tangent on this function is going to have a slope of 3. So usually what happens is that we have to find the slope of the tangent at a specific x value. That's most questions that you receive, that's what's going to happen. So you find the general expression and then you're plugging in that x value. Well in this case, 
they give you the slope of the tangent and they're asking at what point is that happening? So it's sort of backwards. So now we just make that expression equal to three like we did up here and solve for that a value. So the x value where that slope of the tangent is three is zero. So zero and then to find the y value, just plug in zero into the original function. Zero cubed plus three times zero is zero. So it's actually happening at the origin. So this function here is gonna go through the origin if you were to graph it. And then at the origin, it's gonna have a slope of three. The tangent is gonna have a slope of three. And that slope of three is perpendicular to this line, which had a slope of negative one over three. So zero and zero is your final answer.